This is a test of the new power amp I've designed and uh, basically the power amp has got three stages. The first stage here is the um, preamp that is uh, the LT1253 op amp. It's got two stages and it delivers upwards of about 30 dB of gain. We've got a uh, uh, 2219 uh, transistor here which is uh, delivering about 17 dB of gain and then we've got here the uh, final the IRF 510 which is uh, delivering the power so right now uh, the way I'm going to be testing it is I've got the output which will be going to a low pass filter and going to my spectrum analyzer the input is going to be connected to the output of the bandpass filter here in the TX section I'll inject a signal through put it through and we'll check uh, the power output and uh, this is the gain control for the LT1253 uh, we'll check that we can control the gain and we'll also check the uh, harmonics that are coming out. First test is uh, 40 meters there's a spectrum for 40 meters I've got uh, 7 dBm as the main peak, the fundamental, and I've got a 30 dB attenuator, so that means it's that 37 dB M output, which is 5 watts, and you can see the harmonic is down 26 dB, so it's 7 plus uh, 26, which is well below uh, 30 dB, and we're meeting the uh, FCC uh, regulation there. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the gain control. I'm turning the gain down and you can see the power level going down and then I'll turn it back up so we get 7 dBm coming out which is uh, 5 watts next test is for 80 meters so I've got the 80 meter bandpass filter, 80 meter low pass filter, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the transmit button. So there's a spectrum for 80 meters. You can see my fundamental here is at 7.6 dBm plus my 30. Attenuation is 37, so I've got 5 watts. And you'll see my harmonics here. Well, not harmonics, those are just uh, the IF frequencies. Uh, it's minus 37 dBm, 7 dBm above, so you know we're uh, close to 40 dB down and we're meeting FCC regulations here. So 40 meter, uh, 80 meter uh, looks pretty good. This is a test for 60 meters. I've got 60 meter bandpass filter, I've got 60 meter low pass filter. And let's go ahead, hit the push to talk, send a signal through, and let's see how the power amp performs. So you can see I've got a fundamental here at 5.3 megahertz, which is 6.4 dBm. That's uh, maximum gain on the power amp, so I'm not quite getting um, uh, uh, 5 watts out. And you can see the fundamental, the, the uh, IF mixing byproducts there is only uh, not even 20 dB down and so uh, obviously with the IF I've chosen uh, we can't use this radio on uh, 60 meters because we don't have enough uh, suppression there so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust again I'm going to crank down the gain and you can see the power level coming down so the gain control is definitely working this test is for 30 meters I've got the 30 meter bandpass filter the 30 meter low pass filter and I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the push to talk and send a signal through so there's a signal there for 30 meters 
And you can clearly see this is not very good. We've got a lot of uh, harmonics here. Not a lot of harmonics, we've got a lot of uh, spurious emissions coming in uh, from uh, mixing byproducts. We're only getting about minus 7 dBm uh, coming out. That's the maximum. Uh, 7, I've got 30, so we've got uh, we've got about 23 uh, dBm coming out, which is uh, you know well below 5 watts. And uh, we're only down, the uh, spurious emission is only down uh, 1 or 2 dBm, dB down, so this rate, this uh, band here is uh, not working. So um, it has to do with the uh, 4.9 megahertz uh, IF. I updated the software to support uh, 20 meters and I put a 20 meter uh, bandpass filter. I've got a 20 meter uh, low pass filter and I also changed again the feedback network of the second op amp here to give me a little bit more gain because we saw on uh, 30 meters we weren't getting uh, as much gain as we would like. The the output was a lot lower so I bumped up the gain here a little bit more so we can push more more signal through these uh, these stages. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the transmit button. There's a spectrum for 20 meters. You can see the peak here. It's uh, 6 dBm so it's close to 7 so we're put in, putting out very close to uh, uh, 7 watts and you can see I've got some spurious emissions here which is uh, the 14.7 megahertz which is three times my 4.9 megahertz signal and uh, that's down uh, you know almost 30 dB down so just barely making uh, FCC specifications for 5 watt output and you can see the output is dropping because probably the finals are uh, are uh, heating up there so I may need to add a little bit more gain to the op amp but I can certainly tweak the gain control on the op amp and I can lower the gain and you can see the gain coming, you can see the signal coming down as I lower the gain and as I increase the gain see the signals coming up and right there I'm at the maximum gain so uh, not quite uh, 5 watts coming out so with the additional gain I've added to the LT uh, 1253 I've gone back and I've put the 40 meter bandpass filter 40 meter low pass filter and I just wanted to make sure that uh, I can get uh, 7 watts and I can turn down the gain um, on uh, 40 meters. So I'm going to go ahead hit the push to talk and there you can see my fundamental is at 6.7 and I'm going to go ahead and turn the gain up So it's 6, uh, 30 dB attenuating, uh, attenuation, that's 36. And I crank it up, see I'm getting more power coming out. There I'm up to uh, uh, 38 dBm. And if I crank it down, see the gain is dropping off. So the gain control on that uh, LT 1253 is working quite nicely.